tutorials. In this video tutorial, uh, we'll learn one of the very important interview question in Oracle that is how to write a SQL query to find total number of employees in each department. Yeah. So here the way I'm going to write the SQL query that will work in other databases as well. Right. So I'm going to write the generic query that should work in every databases. Right. So here uh, we would like to find the uh, basically number of employee in each department. So let me show you the table. So this is uh, I have employee table there. You can see we have already department number, right? So we want to basically here group uh, all the uh, employee belongs to the particular department, right? So basically here we have to use uh, basically a group by clause, right? And that group by clause we have to apply on the department number, right? So here query is very simple. I will write select, select, uh, let's say star from EMP, just I have written. Now here what I'm going to select, I'm going to select the department number, DEPT, department number and corresponding employees count, right? So here we have to use the count function, right? Here you have to pass the star or asterisk. And here you can keep the very beautiful column name as well, like total employees, like total, total employees, right? As column name, it would be just like this, right? Uh, and here, of course, you have to write group by clause because we want to basically uh, uh, group the information based on the basically department number yeah so group by department number that's it let me format this sql query by pressing ctrl f7 so this is the query so if i run this query then here you can see we have basically a department and corresponding employee count so total employee if you look into if you add this column then six plus five plus three total 14 if you go to here employee table total employees 14 right but uh, this is very simple, right? But uh, let's say interviewer uh, will try to tweak this question. Uh, let's say interviewer ask you, okay, I would like to get the department name as well, right? Along with department number. But if you look into the employee table, do not have a department name. Department name, we have a DEP table, DEPT table, right? So in that case, you have to perform kind of inner join to fetch the department name as well, right? So here I'm going to write a SQL query for that again. So I'll write uh, select, sorry, select. Uh, let's say I'm right now I'm just putting a star uh, from EMP. Let's say alias of this table is E. And here I'll write inner join, yeah, sorry, inner join on DEPT table D, let's say alias is D. And on clause, you have to specify the joining condition. So I dot E dot D P T uh, E dot D E P T number equals to D dot uh, D E P T number, right? Now, uh, of course, we have to select here. We have to select a basically department number first thing. And then department number is available in both the tables. So we will make use of the alias of the table from which table we want to fetch this department number. So I that I will do E dot department number so that this uh, column uh, information will be fetched from the employee table. Then second thing I will do D dot D name, right? D name department name, which I would like to fetch from the department table. Now total count we want to calculate. So count function we will use and here you can see total employee you can uh, give the alias name total sorry total employees total employees right and here of course you need to specify group by clause guys so group by clause earlier what we have done to group by clause we had to specify only department number but here now you have to specify both the columns because we want to group the information based on the these two things right and both columns is in the same table department number and department name yeah now that's it and if i format this query by pressing ctrl f7 this is the query now if i run this query then here you can see we got the 
department number department name and total employees available in that every department right now let's say if you want to sort this column right uh, let's say fortunately this is in ascending order but sometimes let's say uh, if you want to display the descending order right right so there is uh, only uh, three departments unfortunately that is in ascending order then uh, we have to apply the order by clause to sort any column so i'd say order by either you can see this guy this function name you can uh, write or you can use the, this alias name all right so if i run this query then let's see so so we feel that we are not sure whether sorting has happened or not so by default order by works as a ascending order if you want to sort in descending order and that will clarify whether this sorting box or not so if you look in here descending order right so instead of this entire function you can make use of this alias i think that should work as well right so here you have seen uh, there are two variation of uh, how to find a total uh, number of employees in each department first of all we we have seen how to count the deploy i mean em, uh, employee employ total employees uh, department wise and we had face department number and uh, and uh, corresponding employee count in second uh, query we have face department number as it will a department name but don't forget to mention both the columns in the group by clause and order wise most of the most of the scenario order by uh, order by clause will be the last thing in the query right so guys that's all i wanted to uh, cover in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this video guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial